On the last one, we didn't get enough memory to be able to do things. So my eye has gone to the disassembler as well as the solar panel that I knew there was one around somewhere and I just couldn't find it. There you go. Someone uh, do something with that solar panel. We have a merchant that just arrived, so let's go ahead and see what they have. They have a cat, three of them for 3,000 each. Those are very expensive. Ooh, microchips. Oh gosh, if we can somehow figure out how to afford these. Oh goodness, uh, we need we need microchips. So how does it, <laughs> how do we trade them something for one microchip? I'm not gonna give them anything that we actually need right now, such as one of our robots, but maybe we could give them some carbon. We've been collecting some carbon by way of our carbon collector thingy type thing. So if we were to do that, then... I guess we really should go up to two then, right? Can we even get two? I don't... Uh, can I... Can I do that? How about two? Perfect. So we'll receive 15 bucks. Execute trade! Okay. Look at that. Microchips just appeared right there, and that is brilliant. Brilliant, brilliant, brilliant. Okay, someone finish putting this thing together before I start disassembling. Please. Um, someone? What are you? Can I... Can I forcibly re... Uh, we, we should have the things, so go ahead and do the things. We got a microchip. I don't know if we have wire. Certainly there's some plastic somewhere. There you go. Do it, bot face. Body McBot face is going to town over there. I am so, so hopeful now that we can finally do this once we give this guy power. So here you go. Going to give it a second. And research. Okay. Now we need disk space. Nope. Okay, now we're good. So we are finally able to research this. We're going to need 12 disk space for that. And we're going to need... 16 for that. Hmm. Math says no. So we're going to need some more storage space. And as I was being smarter about things and clicking over here to see what these things actually consist of, I realized, yeah, shouldn't have disassembled one of them to begin with. And, you know, could have gone this way too, where you can look in the bottom left-hand corner and see what they are made of. It is what it is. We'll go ahead and put uh, just one for now, because we don't have a lot of we don't have a lot of things. That's really what it comes down to. And then how's this guy doing? It is collecting carbon. It is now done. It's got a hundred in it. I guess someone comes and and dumps it out every once in a while. That's kind of handy there. So I want to take a look. We are using almost all of our power. We did create a new matter reactor on the last one and it looks like that was just enough to keep everything running it's funny I, I remember seeing someone say i wish this right here the electricity grid would show up on this page i wish it would too like right right here it should just tell me overall electricity use that would be perfect so crash uh oh yikes okay hold on Let's see what we're dealing with first. Okay, so Crash just woke up from stasis and Terrence just woke up from stasis. And both of these guys, I think, are in a spot where the temperature is okay, so that's fine. We're probably going to need at some point here to start making some clothing. Yeah, I know, we're fine here. And then ignore the stasis damage as well as uh, make some more beds, I think. So why don't we go ahead and let's add a couple of beds. Oh, we had to get rid of crap. We had to get rid of furniture. <laughs> oh my gosh, this is a nightmare. Furniture, add to queue. This is just awful, all right, we need that 
sooner rather than later. I don't want to override space research, so we'll just leave it at there. And uh, I don't know, I guess we need to have some more chairs maybe here. Let's, let's move this guy to right there. And then we'll move this one over here. And that one we're going to move over there. And that leaves this last one to move right there. Okay. So I think we'll have enough seats. And if not, we've got one more over here. So you know what? Just to do all of it. There you go. Nothing like sitting on space right there. You sit on that, that glass and it's like sitting on space. Shower is clogged. So who cleans that? I don't know who cleans that. I guess you do. Uh oh. Micrometeoroids detected. Entered a zone where there is a high chance to get hit by a micrometeoroid flying at light speed. Well, we. I didn't. Well, I guess we are technically moving. I mean, if we exploded in space, oh, that's bad. Then, um. I guess it is what it is, right? Here, let's go ahead and repair all those things in there. We'll repair that one too, just for the giggles. And that one. We're not really ready to use this portion of the ship, so I'm not overly concerned about it per se. Oh man, we're going to have everyone just on repair duty, aren't we? Okay, repair all the things, repair all the things. Do all of those ones, that'll be fine. I know, there's a lot of stuff to repair. Like, this is not even... This is not even... A drop in the bucket right here. I mean, this is a... This is a drop of a drop. Okay, space travel is done. Okay, all that stuff is good now. That's good. I'm thinking slash hoping we're done with... The micrometeoroids. What are you? Oh, you're the table, so whatever. We're fine. Okay, so furniture's done. Before I lose track of things, let me go ahead and make a bed. Oh no, furniture just started. I'm sorry. My bad. I read that wrong. So now we need to research propulsion, and we need to build and connect bridge controls, build and connect a thruster, and that's going to require propulsion, I think. Set a direction and make the ship flight ready. <laughs> I think it's going to be a little while before we make the flight the, the ship flight ready, but I am hopeful that we're getting there. I just want to see, can we build... We still can't build any better walls, so that's kind of annoying, because this spot over here is just, just rankling me a little bit that we can't do anything about it right now. So, furniture, and then propulsion. Furniture is coming along. Manufacturing, we don't have enough disk space. And I do think we need to... I do think we need to leave construction in there. Although propulsion is going to be the next one that we need for purposes of our quest. So that's going to take 12 more storage space. Let's connect. Let's see, you have 7 of 8, 6 of 8. We'll connect you. That'll give us a little more storage now. So that gives us 126 out of 144. So I think what we're going to need to do... Is there any way I can... Like, can I do a Control-C, Control-V? Because that would be really awesome if we could. Let's add another disk right there. We'll make another disk drive. I think we're just going to have to kind of run with it. And then I guess I want to start repairing the rest of the ship. Because everything else is pretty much good. Who took cold damage? Is it too cold over here for you? It shouldn't be. It's warm. What did you do? I don't know where you would have walked where you were cold. I mean, it's even warmish over here. Like, I, I'm, I'm genuinely confused. How did you take cold damage? I don't understand, buddy. I don't understand. 
and we still have transistors, so we're good. Let's go back to our, our disk storage, because I think we're probably ready. Oh, we need another connector. Oh, you know what I'm going to do? Now, we'll, we'll roll with the connector for right now. It's fine. At some point, we're just going to have to deconstruct a bunch of things to make everything else fit, and it'll be fine. Whatever. I'm not all that concerned about it. Get that put up in place, and then we can do that, and then do that. There you go. What are you? Oh, you're a bed. Perfect. Let us relocate that. Nope. Uh, relocate. Because we can put that right over... Right over there. So I think that'll give us five beds total now, which is probably enough. So how many people do we have right now? One, two, three, four, five, six people. One cat, bunch of robots, and then I don't want to lose sight of this today. So I think what I might want to do is see if we can process this by playing with the disassembler here. So how can we do this guy? Does it automatically get loaded with things? I'm not sure how that's going to work. There's no queue for it, so I don't know how to queue it up. I know this is designed, as it says, to process broken machinery to recover raw materials. So I'm... Oh, someone is bringing over a robot right now. Look at that. Perfect. So that answered my question. That answered my question well. I was just checking electricity. I'm very curious to see what we get out of this. I mean, we've got a bunch of drones loaded up in and we can probably just turn it off when we're done. I don't think there will really be much reason to use it after this. We're probably going to be good in that front. So this guy's almost done. So what did we get out of it? Oh, wow, we got a lot of stuff. Titanium plates, gears, copper wire, bunch of microchips, optical fibers, battery cells. And then we're about to get some more. Storage is going to be filling up here in a moment. And now the irony in all of this is that we don't really need furniture again. But I thought, just let it finish. It's fine. Here, let's relocate this table, and we're just going to put it over uh, there for lack of any real rhyme or reason. And then I know there's a chair over here. I'd like to relocate the chair. And we'll relocate the chair. And there's another chair over here. We'll relocate the chair. Didn't mean to do it like that. My bad. Relocate you. I keep hitting the wrong button. I don't know why I'm doing that. Okay, just do it like that. I'm not going to zoom in here. Let's, let's relocate this large planter. We're going to put you right there. That'll be fine. Floor light, we don't need to worry about that guy. Mini planter, we will put that over there. And then I think... That's pretty much everything. We don't really need to worry about the winch stuff. We can leave that as is right now. I'm not super concerned about that. The only bad part in all of this is these guys are all busy repairing, so I'm not sure if anyone's going to be able to get over to move those things in a timely manner, because, you know, gave them about 53,000 things to worry about first. Minor details and such. Who keeps taking cold damage. I don't understand what you guys are doing, so you're being weird. We've run out of protein, which is going to be bad, so... Uh-oh, solar panel broke down. Repairs will be necessary. Uh, can we go to it? Okay. Device is worn out and cannot be repaired anymore. <sighs> well, if that's the case, then we might as well disassemble. No, that's cancel. Disassemble that bad boy. If we can't do anything about it, then what's the point of leaving it there? 
Storage is totally full. Let's just eject all this stuff. I hope we didn't lose a bunch of materials because it sure seems like the queue is done. I don't know. Whatever, I guess. How are we doing, by the way, on our third storage unit? It's pretty full, but not totally full. And has anyone disassembled that? No, they have not. Battery discharged. Oh, that's all right. We're... Who keeps taking cold damage? You do. It's not even cold over here. I guess... Maybe you don't have good... Tolerance? Yeah, I don't know. I, I guess maybe it's this spot right here. That is still cold over there, so... Maybe that's what's going on. All right, well, you people go do what you need to do. And then I think right now what we probably should do is call an, a merchant and we'll do a generalist one more time because we're going to need some food here. I mean, I suppose we could do this. We could search for this guy. We could do nutrient extraction. I mean, I don't really want to do this per se, but I don't know, whatever. And then what do we have? What are these guys? I forget. So we have in this one a bunch of a bunch of stuff, right? We do have plant fiber, so can we now change this to I still don't see how to change it to something else. Because when you look at the food here, it says that that is two plant fibers. It says it's crafted in cooking station. And yet, I don't see the option for that. Let's configure you to, um, do, 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 do. Oh, you haven't relocated yet. My goodness, sorry. I'm, I'm still waiting for everyone to do things, apparently. And this is going to take a while to finish manufacturing because we keep running out of power for everything. So we'll get rid of that one. I know we're out of protein. This is in an area it shouldn't be in. It is queued up to be moved. Battery has discharged. We're well aware of that. Device needs replacement soon. We already know that. And with any luck, everyone will finish doing all this stuff momentarily. So unlock new blueprints, battery cell gears, microchip, optical fiber, and crafting station. So just out of curiosity here, can we change that to something else? So now we can make microchips out of here. That's good to know. I mean, we don't really need any of those right now, so I'm just not going to worry about it. I wonder if it would say... Okay, so it's transistor and silicon. So are we... Where are we with silicon? Because maybe that what we should be doing here is changing our particle collector to silicon. I think maybe that'll be a better idea. Here, let's eject our, our carbon for someone to haul. So someone will take care of that eventually. I mean, there's still all these other hauling orders that I'm waiting on, but... Minor details. And this guy, we can... not do anything with the loom yet. Hat, clothing... Uh, okay, so... We need plant fiber, apparently, to do that. Which, I was really hoping to use the plant fiber for food. So, minor details. I guess. You look like you're doing stuff, I suppose. What do you have for equipment? Nothing! No, you do have that. Okay, so... You might need a hat. So, I guess what we'll do for the loom is... Uh, I guess we have to do one at a time. 
Eh, that's fine. You keep doing your thing over there. Because we have these to take care of now. So this guy, um... This... Where am I? Where's my thing for... Oh, we need to power it first, and then we can do all the things. Got it. And that's out of range of that one. Which means... Here, let's do that. And that, and it's just going to have to be okay. Planter and configured coffee... Uh, nope. Wrong one. I wanted wheat. And then wheat. And then how are we doing over here? I guess these are all okay, I don't know. I still enjoy that the cat is using the whole thing over there. That is just hilarious to me. Let's relocate um, Rex's body to... Uh, here, let's just put Rex's body over there. That's, that's fine for now. And then... This is just going to be corpse storage over here, and if uh, we lose the bodies in the middle of flight, hmm, you know, it's not that big a deal. So research is pending on this. Are you actually doing anything? Okay, so we need disk. That's kind of why I was zooming ahead. I thought that might end up being the case. So we'll go ahead and drop another disk drive right there. Add some more stuff to the mix. We'll let that be built. Batteries are totally discharged right now because, you know, we're using way too much stinking power for our research. I guess. I guess we just straight up need more power anyway. I don't know what's using all of it. Maybe the constructor is? These guys don't use up much power, so I don't think it's those. Although the memory cores use more than I thought. That's using 10 kilowatts. That doesn't seem that bad. Yep. There's the energy deficiency. Alright, it's time to do another matter reactor. There you go. Drop a couple of them and do it quickly because everyone's freezing right now. Our merchant will be arriving here shortly, so that's good. We can go ahead and configure you for fuel. And then this guy. And configure you for full. For fool? For fuel. Easy for me to say. I think that's just going to get us in a spot where we're okay. Just barely. Not much. But just barely. Look at that. 258, 255, 258, 255. And research is now underway. So I'm really not... Oh, hello. Um, what is that? Can I relocate you? What, are you, what is in there? What, what, do you, what do you have? Uh-oh. Um, I think that was a bad idea. Okay, I need you to move. Because I think you just... Um... Okay. So, there's, uh... An explosive. Can we maybe... No. Can we maybe relocate us somewhere else? Oh, that seems bad. That seems bad. to do with this. <laughs> oh, goodness. Can we build a random floor in space? And then can we... Here, can we do it like this? Can we do... Can we do something like that? I don't think it's going to matter. And then this guy needs to be relocated over here. Okay. All of you need to move. Okay. I'm really annoyed that you're not moving. Okay. 
I'm really super annoyed that you're not. Well, I guess the, the thing was never moved, so. This is very annoying. They moved the storage pod. That's what they did. I don't, I don't understand. Well, it's going to be what it's going to be. Okay. Move a little further if you can. I mean, seriously. Oh, that wasn't as bad as I thought it might be. Okay. I'm okay with that. I mean, that's not great, but... That could have been ever so much worse. I mean, really. That was about, I don't know, uh, five squares? Something like that was the radius of that? I mean, just kind of at a guess. I don't know. That... Oh, goodness. It's all right. It's all right. Not a big deal here. Let's go ahead and fill in some gaps of flooring. I think we need to start doing that. We've got to start pushing out a little more here. And then... I'm going to build a regular wall. Oh, no, I can't do that yet because i got to wait for that to finish. Got it. Okay, no problem. I know that. I know things. Oh, goodness. Did we miss the trader, by the way? I know someone had been approaching, but I always, I'm always i never sure if I, if I catch him or not. It's one of those things where it's just a little weird to me. So we're at 18 out of 27. There's the trader right there. There you go. Look at that. How's that for timing? I bet coffee would be a good thing to sell if we could make some. 1.1 1 .1 at 22. So I guess what we're going to do is buy some protein. We'll buy like uh, 25 or so. And then we need to add... I guess we'll add some bio waste. I don't know. I mean, I'm... That's probably not a good idea, but, um, I don't know. I got nothing. Kind of don't want to give them soil. That seems like something that would be really good to have in space. Like, you might need your space soil, so let's, let's not get rid of that. And we'll just go ahead and give you some more carbon, because I'm not really sure how else to make this work. And we need to add a little bit more. There we go, and we'll receive 95 in exchange, and we'll call that fair. That's fine. That's totally fine. So someone will put the protein in storage, and we can now process that, although I do wonder if I should maybe relocate this guy somewhere or increase the, the size of this hallway so that there's a little more warmth over there, but I don't know, whatever. We're, we're going to call it fine. How are we doing with batteries? They are not really charging, so that's just... It's going to have to be what it is. As soon as we're done with propulsion, it'll be fine. We've added so many things at this point that I think some of these guys are just taking up a ton of power. Although you look at this and it's using zero, so it seems like that shouldn't be an issue, but I don't know. Ongoing dust storm that will affect things. Yay. Yay. And stuff. Yay. That's... that's not good. So we do have 22 protein available, so I think what's going to end up happening is... We'll get people cooking a bunch. We'll just leave it at 20. I think that's sufficient. Are you, like, standing around trying to be... Like, trying to talk to that person? What's going on here? That seems like that might be bad. I wonder if we can turn that off. Oh, no, turning things off is bad. I remember that. We don't want to mess with the... the wear. Oh, Whiskers is now seven years old. Look at that. Happy birthday, Whiskers. Um... Someone needs to pet the cat. There you go. The robot pet the cat. 
Oh, that's hilarious. And look at that. Cat's happy. Cat was cat was pet. Cat is happy. That is very interesting to me how that works out. I'm going to stop producing that because that's what I was missing. I knew it was something stupid and obvious. Okay. Let's let's just do that. There you go. I knew it was something really obvious that I just needed to click out of it. So if you've been saying that, my apologies. I was thinking this game worked differently. It doesn't. So now I know better. I wonder if the soy burgers are considered better than the survival meals. I mean, I could click on it, but it doesn't really give much, I guess. Energy output is 410. I'm having trouble finding the... Here, let's really zoom in. I don't want the survival meal, I want the soy burger. 380, so the output's not as high, but the thing is, is we can just craft crap loads of those. I mean, presumably we can if our if our wheat crop is uh, growing and, and working out okay. So we got Reload joined the colony. So I don't know what to do about Reload. I hope you find some clothing or something. Do we have clothing in in the thing? What's in here? Spacesuit, clothing, mail, clothing, mail. Okay, that's right. I remember we needed to queue up some additional things over here. So let's do that. Um, what are you doing? I might actually want you to stop doing that. And let's have you weave a couple of hats. And I want you to do... Let's do two of them. That'll be fine. Now, of course, we're going to be fighting out our... Uh, fighting, rather, for the... plant fibers between clothing and food. So that's in part why I wanted to make sure we had multiples of these guys going, although that one might be a coffee tree, so I guess we need to research cafe. Cafe? Can we research cafe? Six and ten, sure. Let's just add it to the list. I don't know. Whatever. It's fine. It's the only thing in the queue, and actually, I do want to look at it one more time. So we're going to need a coffee machine is what we're going to need for that. And we're going to need water. Oh, I don't think we have a lot of water, so... How's that going to work? We need water. Let's look for water. So, terraforming. Wow, that is way down there. That's under... Whew, that's under scanning, telescope, terraforming. Ocean generation? Well, that's not really what I wanted. I guess we just buy water from people? I'm not sure how else we're supposed to get water then. Anyway... We have finished doing things, so oh, what do we need? We need disc for that. Of course we do. Well, you know what? If that's the case, um, here, let's let's clear all of that. And what do we have room for? We have room for four. We have room for four. Can we can we shove something in there worth only four? Advanced furniture construction speed two. That would actually be a really good one to have, just in general. I'd like to have that one. That'd be be good. Recycling. Produces water and clean biomass out of bio waste. Got it. That's the one we need for water then. Okay. I see that now. I think we just have to add more, more disk drives is really all it comes down to. So. Uh, all right. Back to, back to upgrading the core. Let's do that right quick. We're going to build another disk drive, so we'll put the disk module right there. We're going to let that cook. And then we should have some hats. I think people should be finding clothes. I don't know. Who are you? Do you have clothing? You have clothing. I don't know if I got the right one. I wanted to reload, I think. You got nothing, buddy. Um, did we run out of clothing in there? No, no, we we didn't. He just he just likes his freedom, I guess, so to speak. 
batteries should be... Yeah, yeah, I know. Our batteries should be working now. And then here, let's do... Wow, tractor beam, black holes. There's all sorts of interesting stuff down there. We're going to add recycling because that one's just going to be important. We, we just plain need that. And do we have enough storage space? We don't yet. And we're still not going to once this one comes online. So there's that. Because that still only gives us... Oh no, that'll just be enough. Nope, actually take it back. It won't. It's not enough. Oh goodness. Here, um, put that, uh, I don't know, put it right on top of the light. I was, I've been trying to avoid that the whole game. At this point, oh well, it's, it's fine. Oh goodness, what else do we need to do to make the ship flight ready? So we still need bridge controls and a thruster. So I guess we should start working on that. So where do we do bridge controls and what do we need for that? Didn't even really bother to see what we needed for that. So I'm just kind of hoping that we can do this. Now let's do the bridge right there. Not even going to worry about it. So we need microchip, fiber, plastic, glass, and construction four. I assume someone can build that thing. And if not, we're going to find out in rather short order. Okay. Let's power up. Let's see. Not you. You. It's going to power up that disk drive. Hey. There you go. Um. Wait, what? Connect that one. I don't really care about the other one. That one's... That one is fine. Okay. So we'll not worry about the light. That gives us enough storage for our research now. Which is going to take a hot minute, but it's getting close to being done. And then... Our bridge system should be... Put together soon? Is someone going to build that? Oh, Rock Roboto is now three years old. Look at that. I didn't realize that that those guys had um, that that robots had birthdays. But I guess it makes sense. Why not? You know, why not? Okay, so over here, Mr. Rolly McRolly Face is doing things. All right, recycler is done, and we can build a recycler, which means I probably shouldn't have gotten rid of that waste, but. Too late. It is what it is. Uh, let's go ahead and build this guy. We're going to put that uh, right there. Because we don't... Well, I guess we could have put it in this room. I'm not going to sweat it. Who are you? Um. What is you're doing? What, 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 what are you doing? Are you sleeping? Cause of death, suffocation. Okay, so did you just die? Where did you die? Like, why did you die? Um, were you trying to haul something somewhere that you shouldn't have? Because I, I really just wanted to haul the body. I thought he was already dead. Was he not dead? Um... Oh, are you trying to... Here, I think I have the wrong spot. I think I clicked on the wall when you should have been over there. My bad. And then we should probably relocate that dog, too. So let's go and relocate the dog. Uh, I actually wanted the dog... Here, put the dog right there. I, I actually did want that over there. Believe it or not, that was, that was kind of the plan. Okay. So let's connect our bridge to power here, because we should have this guy done. There you go. Whew, that takes 20 kilowatts. That's most of our power there. So what does this guy do now? We need an operator for one. We've connected the bridge controls. Click the star map overlay to open the star map and see where we are in space. We'll still need to have working engines or at least thrusters in order to travel anywhere. So we'll click the star map overlay. 
Great Citadel is over here. Oh my gosh, this is great. The question I have is, can we go beyond all of this stuff? Um, can I go back to you? Because I, I totally lost where it was. Yeah, okay. So the nearest planet is Prospectus. And we can... Yeah, I know, we don't have engines. I was just seeing if we could do that. Okay. So, no. So, the next order of business is to build and connect a thruster. So, if we were going to build a thruster... But you know what? I don't want to do it that way. I want to go through this menu. Oh my gosh, there are so many things over here now. Space travel thruster. I want to see what we're going to need. So, 15 plates, 5 wires, 1 gears, and 1 microchip. So, if we put this thruster... Uh, right there. That looks like a really good spot, actually. That'd be about where I'd want it. And it's where it's going to go, so it's going to have to be fine. I'm, I'm getting excited at the possibility of flying off on this thing. I mean, it still looks like it's not a good idea overall. And we really do need more power here, so that's going to be an issue. But, uh, you know, whatever. We're getting there. Sort of. I'm not sure where. But... We're sort of getting there. Okay, let's go and make some more floors. And then we'll just fill in those gaps too. That's fine. And then let's do some more floors. We're just going to fill in some gaps here. There you go some gaps. Fill in some gaps. And definitely fill in some more gaps. Crashy Robo Construction level up to three. Well, good for you, Crashy. We're going to fill in all of this stuff. And I think maybe what we'll do is try and fill in all of this area right here and maybe all of that too just because why not and we'll do some of these and I think what we can do is hope that we don't get hit by micrometeoroids because that's going to be bad our thruster is done it needs to be connected to the electrical grid we have connected it to the grid I have a feeling we are going to be using almost all of our available engine or uh, electrical power which means we need to start building some matter reactors over here so we're gonna do one two three four five matter reactors there and I'm gonna switch to repair mode just to see that's where the meteoroids have hit it's not too bad so far Just trying to watch them for a second. And I know, we're out of research. That's... We're out of storage space, too, so... There's not much I can do about that at the moment. We gotta build some more disk space. Oh, that's right, we did. We just didn't power it. Here. Oh, no, that's right. That's the light that's not powered, so... Here, we'll do one more. We'll call that good enough. It's operating at 79%. I guess maybe what we should do is add another heat sink. Uh, let's do a heat sink. I suspect that's going to be way, way too many, but I'm not really sure what the correct amount is, so I'm just going to call that good. That would be my cat who did that, believe it or not. I mean, she didn't make the noise, but she hit the button on the to go XLR, so that that was all her. I'm going to let this stuff keep running for a little bit to fill in some of our gaps here with all of the flooring orders that we have put in place. Put in a couple of wall orders too. I think that'll be a good thing because it just seems really dangerous to be flying like this. And quite frankly, I would prefer to have the ship be closed off before we go flying around in it. Maybe it's unnecessary. Maybe it's overkill but i don't know i like the idea so i am going 
to run with it. We will catch up on the next one and maybe, just maybe, we'll be ready to start flying. Catch you that one, Till, and thanks for watching. See you later.